Welcome into Cahill Sandsburg Field. I'm Ian Shire. Alongside me is Michael Williams. We're here in a beautiful day here in Winter Park, Florida, where the Rollins Tars are going to take on the Tampa Spartans. Michael, tell me why this is a big matchup. Now, this is a very, very big matchup. You have two teams here, Rollins College Tars here. They're five and four and three and one at home, facing, hosting a Tampa team here, Tampa Spartans team that is five and five. Unfortunately, however, they are 0-5 away, looking to clinch that first away game win against the Rollins College Tars this evening. Right, and it's certainly a huge matchup. I mean, this these two teams have been battling it out for the past couple years. Um, the, I know last year, Rollins actually beat them in the semifinals, the advance to the conference finals. They actually beat them in overtime. They were down 2 nothing, and they came back and ended up winning 3-2. So this certainly is going to be a great matchup as these two teams are usually at the top of the league for soccer. Yes, sir. We're in for a tough defensive battle this evening. Both teams look to be practicing defense prior to the game and pregame warm-ups this evening. Right. Rollins, def or Rollins women's soccer has always been pretty good at their defense, and I know this year they've been actually expressing uh, the coaches have been expressing to their players how they want more offensive attack in here from their players. Even the right fullback and the left fullback, they want them attacking more. So I know this is going to be a little bit of a uh, <laughs> test against a tough uh, Tampa Spartans team. We, as we hear from those chants, they are fired up this evening, both sides. We are here in pregame as... Rollins takes a field while Tampa is still in their huddle. Both teams are equally excited right now. Everyone is on their feet from both sides of the field. Tampa looks like they're still coming up with their game plan here as we start off the game. We are getting underway here in a short few seconds. The ref blows his whistle. Tampa will kick off. Tampa kicks off here. And we are underway here at, Can at Cahill Sandsford Field. As Tampa right away tries to send a deep ball down the left side. Hannah Kirkpatrick with a header out of bounds. Rollins now with possession after a failed throwing attempt, but Tampa will win it right back. They are now in pressure, takes a rip. Michelle Fickett with the great save. Great leaping effort there on that attack. What a save. But as you can see, Tampa already pushing the gun here as soon as we start the game. Fast pace, high attacking. Yeah, right away, they want to set the tone here early. It goes out of bounds near us, and Rollins will be able to have a throw in here. Lori with the throw in, throws it down. Skyler Wade. Sorry, Jesse Wade. Tampa with the recovery back to the goalkeeper. Right now, there's a bit of a scuffle as it's a sent down the left field line for Tampa's 23, 22. Alori fighting her off the ball really well. Good defensive position by Alori, and the team for Rollins is enjoying that. So a roll out of bounds, and Michelle Fickett will take the goal kick here. Goal kick. Tampa once again gaining possession, tries to send a through ball. Alore being able to stop it goes to Skyla. There's Skyla sending a deep ball down to Megan Mosley. Megan Mosley on the run, gets bodied off the ball. Great by, defense by Megan Hassel there, I believe. With the
Sophia Carholm with stop right there. As Rollins will now take a throw in in their offensive third here. So give up a ball here. Now it is a Tampa throw in. Throw in here by Gabby, the Saddles. Now Rollins, Rollins now has to play defense as Hunter steals the ball, but there's a foul by number 23, Valeria Acevedo. Sigh of relief for these Rollins fans as Hunter is back. She had a prior injury for the past two weeks, so she's able to be back out here now, which is a good thing for Rollins' defense as she's one of the key components to this Rollins defense being one of the better uh, center backs she's able to lead the team in the great direction so far this season yeah we kind of already see that intensity there in the midfield there's already been a few scuffles there fights for the ball tough tough defense in attacking here it's the beginning of the game Rollins so far this season has been doing great in the second half. Usually they're a second half team. They are always able to rebound. Seems like the first couple of minutes they have a little bit of the nervous jitters there, but they always seem to rebound. As Horahan sends a ball, is intercepted by Spartans. And Megan Mosley will earn the ball back. Good move there with the ball. So they switch fields now to Tesser on the left side, trying to beat a defender. Tampa's defense looking solid. Good through ball here, but a great Ooh, tackle good. by Horan who gets up. There's a bit of a scuffle between the two players. Caleb Parks comes to the aid and will get fouled in the motion for a Rollins kick here. Clean up in the middle of the field. Players all over the floor there. Tough, tough defense trying to get a score here in the opening minutes. Number 10, Catherine Hostage was one that committed the foul. She was not too happy after that play, which is understandable. Rollins now on the great offensive counter, but Megan Hessel, the keeper, will be able to secure the ball. Hessel taking her time in the box. Make a good punt here. Great first touch, but Scale is able to intercept it, and it'll go to a Rollins throw in. Lori looking for someone open. Tough, tough defense still by that Tampa team. Spartans not letting up on the Tars. No, they are definitely not. Right now, Tampa's trying to set the pace, but so far, Rollins' defense has been doing good at intercepting those passes here. As Lori is down in the right corner, she's trying to beat two defenders, cross it. Skyla tries to cross it into the 18. Tampa will be able to clear it away. Lori with the throne now to Wade. Tampa earns it right back, trying to send another long through ball. That Rollins defense smothering number 10 hostage here. Coach Shook for the Tars here, advising her team here to throw away from the pressure here that's smothering them from that Tampa defense. Good header by Lore as Tampa once again owns possession inside the midfield, inside Rollins zone, I should say. And on the other side, Anna Todd with the interception. It's now Rollins is looking to spark something here. She still has the ball, sends a beautiful ball to Tessa on the left side. Another great ball to Megan Mosley, lets it go through her legs, try to dribble it and it will not go anywhere. But Tessa doing a great job on defense while in the offensive position. Alice Tester now, that is a key player there in the midfield to watch out for. Freshman here started eight out of the 10 games here for the Tars. He's really impeccable there. And now Rollins 
trying to get a little free real estate here, but the Rollins, uh, Tars D Spartans defense, I should say, now owns possession of the ball, doing a great job bodying off the ball. Caleb Parks with a lot of room here. Sees Alicito to Tesser. Tesser with a little bit of a pressure, tries to cross it in. Tampa once again being able to clear that ball. Hunter now with the ball. Clearing it to Megan Mosley, who will be called off sides if she plays it, and she will. Looked like Megan Mosley was trying to make a little comeback after being off sides, but it was too late there. A little bit of scuffle right now in the midfield. It's going back and forth. Umpire ducking a kick there. Referee ducking that kick there almost. <laughs> Don't want to take him out early now. We need him <laughs> for the other 45 minutes. <laughs> Wade with the ball here for Rollins. Beats, tries to be one of the players. He fights back. It's Gabby DeSaltes. Glory with the throw in to Wade. Sees open space for Megan Mosley. Tampa putting high pressure right now as Traders with the ball. You Sends know. it to 23. DeSaltos again. Stopped by the Rollins defense once again. Now Rollins has to prepare for that Tampa attacking. Now that was one of the things that the Tampa coach spoke on this after this evening, uh, Miss Erin Schwatowski. She spoke on it. I mean, we asked her, you know, how do we keep up that winning momentum? She said it blatantly. We got to score more goals. And it looks like they're doing that here. They're trying to do that here. As we can see by that pressure they're putting on the Tars. Yeah, right now we're seeing a lot more work from the Rollins defense compared to the Rollins offense. So... Certainly their game plan is working, at least right now. Jesse Wade down the sideline. He saddles with a great throw into hostage in the left corner. As Horan tries to body her off the ball, it goes inside the 18. Tesser putting pressure. Ball is rolled loose and Hunter Anna Todd is able to clear it away. Oh, another great through ball could be called for all sides, but 32 still being able to play it takes a shot and it won't, won't go anywhere. It's Sophia Schrader. Michelle pick, pick it, going to take the goal kick. Beautiful goal kick. T Todd tries to head it to Tesser. So now it's a ping pong battle right now. Hunter stepping in from a through ball, clears it pretty far, and will go all the way back to Megan Hessel, who will step out. Not much pressure from Rollins' offense here. Trying to get set again. Rollins College looking to show out tonight. Big night for them as it's their alumni night. So a few alumni here in the stands watching their team, celebrating them here, hopefully onto a victory. Yeah, and they certainly want to not only win for the alumni, but win for themselves. They're currently on a three-game losing streak, and I'm sure the coaches are not happy about that. Yeah, sure they would want to get some wins under their belt here. Especially ahead of tournament time. And like we said earlier, Tampa Spartans coming off a one-game win, however, are 0-5 away, so they're still looking to get that first one here, too, on the road. Scala with the ball, tries to send it through ball to Megan Mosley. 
defense, number seven, McCarthy with a great stop, trying to send a through ball. Lore with the ball, he'll get cleared away by McCone. Skyla with the ball. Orhan able it to clear it away inside their own defensive third. Catherine Hostage is on her tail. It seems to be a little bit of confusion for number 23 DeSaltos. Trying to throw in on the blue line. She just wanted to take a couple feet off of the pass. Right <laughs> yeah, she Just make it a little bit shorter of a pass, a little easier to control there. <laughs> Michelle Fickett taking the goal kick for Rollins. Seeing a good amount of action in this first half. Scala trying to give a header to Wade, was not prepared. Kyla with the great defensive stop there. Sonnels. The hostage back to the Saddles, trying to send it down the line. Wade with good defense there. So it will now be a Rollins throw in. Alore to Megan Mosley. Goes right by Megan Mosley. Right back to Tampa's team. It will roll out of bounds and another Rollins throw in here. I'll say this, number 22 for the Tampa Spartans, Madison Elahone, and number five for the Rollins Tars here, Jesse Wade. That is a great matchup that we're seeing down here on the wing and the flanks. They are really going at it here, putting a lot of pressure on each other here. Yeah, they really are. They're doing a great job battling for the ball for each team. They should be proud of how they're playing right now. Mm. Parks is down in the corner, trying to fight off the saddles. It'll roll out of bounds for another Tampa throw in. Tampa will try to clear it here. Won't go anywhere. Now Rollins throwing. This is a potential here to get some offensive attack. Throwing the Wade, but it will roll out of bounds, and now it goes back to a Tampa throw-in. So far, it's the battle of the throw-ins right now. <laughs> We're going to uh, throw up a throw-in counter here on the side of the screen in a moment. <laughs> Morhan with the defense stepping up pretty high. Good defense as now Tesser with the ball trying to send a through ball to Jesse Wade. Jesse Wade on the run will take a rip in a low mm. corner, but it's deflected, saved by the keeper. I'm sure there wasn't much of a chance for her to score there. It was a tough angle to get it, but still she forced Megan Hessel to dive for it, and that's always a good thing to see. That was a close one. That definitely had the fans on the edge there. Certainly did. And Corner kick taken here as it's crossed in. Just missed by a couple of feet. It's a good look there by Todd in the corner. And the way this game's going, that first goal is going to be a huge momentum swing to whoever scores it there. Oh, it certainly will. Great like, defense, not making it easy to score tonight. So that first one's really going to get them rolling. And it's still, the thing is, it's still early in the first half. So there's plenty of game time for both teams here. A lot of room for either team to swing the momentum on their side. Right now, it's been a battle in between the two teams. Rollins now in a defensive position here. Carholm with the ball, trying to send a through ball to Madison McGillhone. McGillhone trying to send another through ball, but won't go anywhere. It's a cross. It was a looked like a cross between a shot and a through ball. Didn't look. I couldn't tell which that was going to be. Almost looked like a pass. I'll pick it with a good goal kick here. Now Wade with the ball. 
DeSaddles on her tail. Pokes it out from underneath her. And Alore will be able to take the throw in here. Alore to Wade. Alore to Skyla. Skyla to Avicino. To Tessa on the other side. Tessa to Megan. Back to Tessa. Trying to get some passes in here for Rollins. Yeah. Trying to slow down the game to their tempo, and it seems to be working so far. Looked like she was trying to go to Tessa on that last play there, but just kicked it a little bit too hard as they try to attack again here. Skyla with a good look to Megan, but she Mosley, but she will be off sides once again. Now Megan Hessel will be able to take the on offsides kick. We have chants coming in here from the crowd there. You can see they're hyped, ready to go for this evening. Looks like a kids soccer team is here being able to cheer for the Rollins women's soccer team. <laughs> now Tampa's on the run here. Here's a four cut. Trying to beat Horhan and Hunter comes in with the great sliding tackle. Will stop any momentum Tampa had on that offensive attack. And yeah, you can see on the camera here, looks like looks like a little girls team is cheering on the Rollins women's soccer team. I'm sure they're looking up to these players, hoping one day they could probably play on this team. Yeah, they never know. You might have some future stars that we're looking at right there. Hey, you're right. You could be. Young Tars and Spartans right there watching their teams. A little bit of an excitement inside the 18 here as Michelle Fickett comes out to make the great save. What a great save there. Great goal kick by Michelle Fickett as it's now 50-50 balls. Hunter's got to be careful there. Almost collided heads with one of the Tampa Bay play, uh, Tampa players hostage. Scale with the ball. Tesser to Mosley. Mosley creating room. Trying to get it back to Tesser, but it's deflected. Todd crossing it in to Wade. Wade with big touches. Now Tampa clearing it for hostage. Horahan and hostage now 1v1. Great defense by Horahan there. Saved the chance for hostage to get a lot of room with the keeper. Great throw in right there. Yeah, beautiful one. 1v1 action between the two 23s on this field. Abby DeSottles of Tampa Spartans and Val Acevedo of the Rollins College Tars here. Now's the time for a Tampa corner kick. Number four, Carholm with the, trying to take a shot here. Rollins defense is able to stop him. No one in the offensive attack for Rollins, but now here comes the counterattack. Jesse Wade on the run. It's a 4v2. Jesse Wade trying to send a through ball to Megan Mosley. Great defensive position by Tampa here. Yeah, just a little off with that lead pass there. Oh, wind coming. Looks like one of our cameramen got hit over here <laughs> off of a cleared ball. Looks like he's doing all right. But on that last attack, it looked like Jesse Wade was trying to pass it to Megan Mosley rather than passing it to the open space and that's why Tampa was able to intercept it they were in the right position she read how she was trying to pass it that looked to be a great break though four on two there was a lot of potential in that play Scala winning the ball no one there to help Mosley as she tries to head it 
She assumed that Tesser was there to help her. Tesser was playing on defense right now. That 4v2 gave a little hope for Rollins. You're now seeing they have a chance to possibly encounter on some of Tampa's offense. Use their own strength against them. As now a through ball to Megan Mosley. But Hessel will come out. Perfect timing and save the ball there. Great ball by Hessel into Rollins' deep territory. Tampa now trying to spark it. Yeah, Tampa's been putting on that pressure. We've seen a lot more kicks from Megan Hessel in the last few minutes here as they apply that pressure. Looks like Rollins will have a substitute soon. Looks like Gabby Boyd is coming in for Jesse Wade momentarily. Wade with great Ooh. stop, will roll over the ball. Hopefully she's okay. She gets back up. What a play there. Loses the ball, falls, still gets up and maintains possession of it. That's incredible. Defense all around her still maintain that. It's impeccable. See a kick out of play here from Tampa Spartans. And Gabby Boyd is coming in for Jesse Wade. Gabby Boyd actually has a couple, a lot of game starts. I'm surprised she didn't start today. But she's actually tied for second in goals scored for Rollins. So you know her coming in, she's definitely going to help out this Rollins attacking team right now. on the tack, Mosley trying to head it. Now Tampa trying to clear it out of his spot. Todd with the ball, sending a beautiful through ball to Megan Mosley, gets around her defender, trying to cross it into who I'm assuming parts. Todd outside the 18, trying to keep control of the ball, lost it a little bit. Now Tampa trying to get some offensive attack here. Skyla trying to stop him. And Olori putting herself in good position here. Now Skyla. Parks. I just want to tell the people at home, if you can hear the sound of these kicks booming off of the ball, it is something loud, something to hear. Yeah, they're putting a lot of aggression into that <laughs> touch there. And if you notice this game so far, there's been a lot of heavy first touches and that honestly might affect things later in the game. The heavy first touches might turn into a counterattack, so both teams are going to have to be careful. Hunter in the backfield, trying to cross it in to Gabby Boyd. Alore with the ball now. Alore with open spot, takes a rip! And Hessel will be able to secure the ball. It's a good look there by Lore. Bound for a Tampa throw in here, and number we have Jalissa Richardson, number 13, subbing in for number 22, Madison McElhone here. A little bit under midway through the first half here. Richardson is a senior, actually comes from Tampa, so this is her hometown college. In the game for Tampa is number 13, Jalissa Richardson. Todd with the header. Nito to Horhan. Horhan trying to clear the ball. Great deflection by Hostage there. Now Lori to Boyd. Boyd trying to fight for the ball. 
it's now Tampa with the ball in their own backfield. Richardson with her first touches of the game will get fouled. Another collision there in the flanks. Good free kick. Tampa with the chance and they'll head it in and it's a goal. Off of the inbound kick to the box. Spartans with the first score of the game. It looks like Tars have something to say about that goal though as they kind of contest here with the ref. Brooke Steigerwall for Tampa with the goal here as it stands. Looks like it will stand. Seemed to be a little confusion that 18. Yeah, it seemed like it at the end there. It looked like they're having a little discussion with the ref about the play there. But it does stand. Steigerwall with the goal, putting Tampa up. One nil over the Tars. Let's see how the Tars respond to this now. It was already a feisty game. Now let's see how much more physical mm -hmm. can get here now. I know the intensity is going to crank up more. It certainly will. And again, Rollins is one of those teams that does a great job of rebounding and tries to find a spark late in the game. Yeah. Tampa will clear it. And hostage on the run here. This could be a chance for Tampa again. As Hunter... Trying to deflect her, and once again, Tampa scores back to back goals within two minutes. Back to back, back to back. So that was a great clear by the Tampa defense for Hostage. He beat Hunter and Horahan to the ball. He's able to put it into the back of the net. It's like we were celebrating the first goal and weren't finished before they scored the second goal there. Yeah, Rollins wasn't able, able to recover quite yet. <laughs> and once again, Tampa taking possession of the ball. That's right. Rollins tries to fight for it back. Park with the ball. Now has a little bit of open room. See what she does with it. Sends it to Tesser, beautiful through ball, but it's deflected just in time. Right. By Carholm. It will roll out of bounds, but it looks like it will be a goal kick awarded. Maybe it went off of Tesser's foot there. Another kick here from Hessel. Hometown is Houston, Texas. 16 minutes left in this first half. Clock it down to 15. Tampa is up 2-0. If you were with Rollins last year, you will remember that once again, Tampa was up 2-0 in early in the first half, actually, and Rollins was able to score three quick goals. I mean, well, two quick goals in regular time, sending it to overtime, and right before penalty kicks happened, he scored a third goal. We may have something like that this evening here by the looks of it. Well, I'm it's sure Tampa. Rollins is hoping for it. Right yeah. now, Tampa is looking pretty strong <laughs> on defense. If Tars can get it going here. They still have a whole second half to play as well. A great through ball by Cito. Tess is nowhere around. Tampa, once again, will try to clear it out of their own 18. Tampa does have, I believe, four shutouts this season, though, so hopefully Rollins does not add to that list. That's the one list we don't want to be part of there. No, certainly not. <laughs> See some great midfield action here. Great chance by Rollins here. Trying to spark once again their offense. 14 minutes left in the first half. Tampa might have a substitute coming in. It's 
Rotsky coming in. First Steiger Walt. Cleared by Hessel. And now Tampa once again trying to send a ball to Richardson. Todd able to get back. She's fighting with Richardson here. Passes it back to Hunter who will clear it. And Coop looks like Rollins will be sending Cooper to the line to get ready to come in. Tampa once again here. Sending a cross into hostage. No one's around though. No Lori is able to clear it. Orham with a great clear. Mosley trying to fight for the ball here. Tesser back to Mosley. Great one two here. Will she keep it in bounds? She does, but she slows it down, tries a body defender off the ball. But Tampa once again securing the ball here. Richardson putting pressure on Todd. Back to Hunter. And now through ball the hostage. Looks like she might have been offsides. Ref is saying let her play. This Hunter is able to clear it out of bounds and now it's a Tampa throw in in Rollins' defense again. Richardson trying to cross the ball but Shell Fickett trying to get there, won't get there in time. It will roll out of bounds. It looks like Cooper will come in for Tesser. I know Cooper has a lot of speed on her right now. She's a great offensive player for Rollins. So it would certainly be fun to watch this Rollins offense. It's now Gabby Boyd and Cooper are coming out, who both have a pair of lungs on them. They can run all day. Hostage and Horhan fighting inside. Rollins is 18. Now Hostage and Alore both go down. And it'll be a Rollins throw in. Great playing from both teams there. Rollins defense is putting up a lot more aggression and intensity despite being down 2 0. Savito with the ball back to Hunter. Hunter taking her time here. Sends a good ball to Megan Mosley. Big first touch there, loses it. And it'll roll out of bounds. And it'll go to Tampa for the throw in. Car home there with the disruption for the Spartans there. Oh, I'm sorry, we will actually go to Rollins throw in. A little bit of confusion there. Looks like a lure here with another throw in. Incoming. <laughs> you know, go over my head, over our heads, maybe flinch a little bit. <laughs> Sfido with a good ball to down to Gabby Boyd in the right corner. Looks like it will be a Rollins corner and a Todd running to the corner. We have a couple of substitutions coming in. Todd taking the corner kick, crosses it in. Great chance there, but Hessel will come out in time to save save the shot, or a potential shot, I should say. Hessel, now the goal kick. Good goal kick here to Richardson. Good punt, I should say. Now Richardson on the tail of Hunter. She's got a pair of... She's got a, pair of lungs on her, she's got a good pair of legs as well. Very fast runner here, giving Rollins' defense a little bit of a scare. Really, really tough matchups here on the wing. They're not giving up this evening. Vanya 
Pianowski is coming in for Sarah Skyla. And Hostage is coming off. And her place will be Emily Boyd, number 28 here for the Spartans. Place in Hostage. Tampa corner here will send it in. Goes over the heads of everyone through the other side. Janowski now in for Scala. See how the new subs do here on the on the pitch. Gabby Boyd beating a couple defenders. It's a three on four here, but it's deflected. But number 19, Armas, did a good job making sure nothing can go through her right now. Alore with the throw in. Gabby Boyd will be fouled on that play. Hunter coming over to take the kick. Myers going went off her foot a little wrong there rolls out of bounds now another Tampa sub Sydney Dennis here number 11 going in for Sophie Schrader here seven minutes left here in the first half Still a 2-0 game by Tampa right now. Rollins looking for a little offensive spark. So they've been struggling so far in the first half. Good header there by... Trying to get to Megan Mosley. But Tampa's defense is there once again. Tampa's defense have been doing great all around. All the players have been putting themselves in the right positions. Make sure nothing's happening. And they've actually been using that to their advantage. with the ball. Back to Horan. Another ball out of play there. Well, Myers is with the ball. Tampa trying to once again steal the, intercept the ball. Great turn there by Gabby Boyd. She's able to defeat one defender who's still on her tail. Gabby Boyd trying to cross it in, but it goes off her foot wrong and will roll out of bounds. So close on that try there. I'm falling out of the booth here trying to see that kick here if it finishes. <laughs> so like Osavino is coming out for McNabb. A freshman from Japan. Parks with the ball in the midfield, trying to create some space. Pianowski to Cooper. The Saltos is there, gets bodied off the ball by Cooper. Hard tackle there from the Tars. It's a great tackle. And now Rollins is with the ball again. Todd trying to send one to May Mosley. So far, that hasn't been working very well tonight. Four minutes left here in the first half. It's McNabb coming off the bench, getting her first touches in. Seeing the Tars pick it up here these last few minutes of the half here. See if they can sneak one in before we finish the first half here. That would be great blues going into the second half. 
Yeah, right now the counterattacks are not working for them, but hopefully that can change in the second half. I'm sure the coaches will be talking to them halftime, making some adjustments. McNabb with a great move. Beating a defender, goes off the player, and Cooper trying to put pressure on it. it looks like one of the fans will be taking home a souvenir here. So the ball rattles out the field. Inside the 18. Again, Tampa clearing it. Will roll out of bounds. And Myers will be able to take another throw in here. The clock is winding down for these Tars to get anything going right now. It's Cooper with the ball. To Myers. Gets Cliff from behind but keeps going. A great through ball there for number 14, Kronk who will be called off sides. It's a great look by Tampa. Whew. Tampa's I thought that was, was going to be another break there. <laughs> yeah, Rollins got lucky there. Tampa's got a lot of players on their team with a lot of speed. Yeah, They've got to be careful coming into the second half. Talk about saved by the bell, saved by the whistle on that one there. Megan Mosley with a good header. Trying to get it to Boyd. Boyd trying to beat the defenders, and Hessel will come out again. Hessel, using her aggression to her strength, to her ability, is working pretty well. We have two minutes left in this first half. Thunderous kick there from Hessel there to the midfield. Great goal. Yeah, great punt there. Now Rollins will get a throw in inside their own, inside their own defensive third. Lore now trying to beat one. Body or off the ball, and a goal kick will be awarded for Tars. The clock is winding down to a minute 50 here. Goal kick. Great header there from Conquist. Forehand able to clear before any more damage happens. But Armas with the ball now for a throw in. A little bit of a scuffle will go right back to a Tampa throw-in. And Armas with throw-in. One minute Floyd left. Floyd there, Floyd looking to attack. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Kirkpatrick Kirk there, looking to attack there in the box for Tampa. Megan, Megan Mosley not finding anyone, not being able to turn. Sensing a little frustration from her there. It's Pianowski with the ball. McNabb with the ball. Alore fighting for it, will clear it. Gets up a little slowly there. They gotta be careful here on the left side. It's, they now have a lot of real estate. She'll just clear the ball, Armas. And with 10 seconds counting down, Looks like Rollins will not be able to score here. Stand corrected, there could be a chance here. Gabby chance. Boyd, last second header. Heads it right to Hessel and nothing will happen. And the, that concludes the end of the first half as Tampa is leading to the nothing here at Cahill Sandsford Field. Again, I'd like to thank Rollins just for the Full Sail students to be able to broadcast these games. Stay tuned, stay tuned in 15 minutes and we'll be right back to the game.
recognized in a long, each season that displayed outstanding enthusiasm, dedication, discipline, inspiration, and encouragement during her career as a Rollins Tar. Tonight, we recognize a pair of alumni as the recipients of the Ashley Wattler Award. These two alumni were the heart of the team that they played between 2015 and 2018. Beyond their amazing statistics, records, and season achievements, these girls gave it everything they had in every game that they played. Upon their arrival, they knew each other and through the program, their friendship blossomed into what is now a lifelong, side-by-side -side sisterhood. They went through trials and hard times. They trained hard and found ways to pull the team together to create an identity that is still alive in the program today. They dedicated themselves to displaying outstanding enthusiasm, dedication, discipline, inspiration, and encouragement during their career as a tar. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a round of applause to the 2022 Ashley Waffle Award winners, Shalisa Farwell and Kira McBeekin. We'd also like to welcome other four members of Rollins Women's Soccer. All decade team member Anita Cox. Amazing superstar Jessica Dees. Unbelievable center man Rachel Jablowski.
Before we get to the second round of action, as far as I'd like to recognize one of our seniors, number 10, Megan Mosley. <laughs> Megan has been a mainstay in the Tars lineup since her freshman year, starting more than 50 games for the Blue and Gold, and playing more than 4,200 minutes on the field for Hollins. She's collected multiple honors throughout her career, including SSC Player of the Week, All SSC. She's a two time United Soccer Coaches All South Region selection and has been an honor roll student every semester on campus. From head coach Alicia Shaw, that is a lead by example leader. She models the behavior we want to see in our team at Rollins. She cares deeply about her teammates by encouraging them, leaning on their shoulders, and in the turn she inspires. Her speedy presence and her keen sense of goal scoring make her one of the most dynamic attackers in the game. Above all, Meg is prepared and focused by putting in tremendous amounts of effort into her game. We can't thank her enough for all the wonderful memories she has created in the program. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear from our number 10, senior Megan Mosley. And second round Welcome back to KL Sandsburg Field. I'm Ian Shire. Alongside me is Michael Williams. Michael, how are you? After the first half, what do you think Rollins has to do? Break through that Tampa defense there. The Spartans are putting an impressive amount of pressure on the Rollins offense here. They're attacking. And I think if they can break through those Tampa defenders, we can see a goal or two here to even out this game. Yeah, I definitely agree with you there. I certainly think Rollins has a chance to score, to score a couple here in the second half. They're just going to have to break through that tough Tampa defense so far. But who knows, after a, they had a great half, I know they were a little pumped up coming out onto the field. I know things are looking up for Rollins as they're trying to change the outcome of this game. Yeah, during the halftime there, they actually celebrated their alumni night. So two of... Rollins College alumni were actually awarded the Ashley Warp Wapling Award here, and that recognizes an alumni from each season that displays outstanding enthusiasm, dedication, discipline, inspiration, and encouragement there. So they have to be a little hyped after that ceremony during halftime here to get something going. And keep in mind, if you weren't here in the first half, like I mentioned before, Rollins is currently on a three-game losing streak. So... To be down 2 nothing is not, I'm sure the coaches are not happy with, and I'm sure they want to switch things around here. And like you stated earlier, though, we may see a comeback now. Rollins, like you said, does get it on in the second half of the games here, so we can see if they can pick it up and get some goals. It looks like they switch a few players around as Mosley is now on the wing. Skylar coming up to play the middle. Tampa still putting pressure, though. Cross it across the 18, Richardson. Richardson passing it back to Saltos, who crosses it in. Great header, clear by Acevedo. Now Megan Mosley with the ball. You usually don't see her in the defensive third with the ball, but looks like they're switching things up to get some momentum going. Looked like she was a little disgruntled in that first half, so she may take things into her own hand here. Score a goal. <laughs> she certainly was. Yeah, she was. <laughs> Park trying to send a great through ball in, but the, once again, Tampa's defense stepping up. Looks like there's a new goalie in for the Rollins Tars here, Elena Mosley. Elena Beasley is in here. That is fantastic for the Tars. As she's been out, I believe, I want to say the last four weeks yeah. with an ankle injury here. So that's great to see her in the lineup. Beasley actually was the starting keeper before her injury 
and actually was on the honor roll, did really well as an athlete and a student. So I know Rollins' team thinks highly of her. You know, they've gone through a rough stretch here without her, so I know that they're excited, ecstatic to have her back here on the field in the second half. And a great tackle by Myers as Hostage will go down and Rollins will clear it. It's Mosley tries to send the ball to Skyla. Once again, defense in the right position. Great clearing just into the Tampa defenders there. And Tampa on the run here, number 15 in the corner. Todd with a great tackle. There's no penalty. She got all ball. And Hostage is still a little slow after getting bodied off the ball there. She's still a little slow. At least she's okay. Spartan coach Aaron Swatowski there looking for a penalty call. Didn't get one. A little upset over that one there. Yeah, Steigerwalt and Todd collided pretty heavily there. But it was just a great tackle by Todd regardless. Now it's a Rollins throw in. Myers will clear the ball out of bounds. Another ball out of play there. DeSaltas with the ball. Back out to Richardson. Cross attempt blocked there. Richardson actually came into the first half as a sub, came onto the came onto the field with about 20 minutes left and since then has been starting for their team. So she cer certainly has impressed the Tampa uh, Tampa Spartans coaches here. Yeah. Now there's a Tampa corner kick. It's the third corner kick of the night here for the Tampa Spartans. Rollins trying to clear it out. A little bit of a scramble in the midfield. He now he goes to, or Horahan goes down and a huge shot won't come near the goal. Too much going on in the middle. Let's just get it out of here. Some of the players, it looks like for Tampa, have been playing the whole game. Do you see fatigue possibly being a concern later on in the half? Right now, it's tough to say. With their speed, they seem to have an extra pair of lungs here. So it's tough to say right now, especially with how well Tampa is playing. But I'm sure once the Tampa coach sees a moment of where they're slowing down or getting beaten by some of these runners, players, I'm sure she's going to give more chances for the subs that come on just to give them a breather. Rollins in the defensive third will go as a throw in. Which is very vocal here on the sidelines. Myers with a great throw in here. It's tipped in. A lot of extra room, but they still can't put it into the back of the net. There's a good chance for Olore and Mosley. That was a great Sorry, attempt there. And now Tampa on the counterattack. Richardson with their extra speed, having a lot of room, will cross it in. Try to actually, sorry, will try to take the shot, but it will go into the netting of the side of the looked goal. Like, looked like she was going for like an angled shot there on the, mm -hmm. from the box there. From that angle, though, it's always very tough. Being able to put it in near post, that's a very tough angle to get it into. It's like a small window there to try to fit the ball in. And Todd with the ball. Well, Bonnie Richardson off the ball is still is in bounds. Finally, the ref will make a call. A little confusion there. Skyla with the header over the defender. No one's there to put pressure, but Skyla still beating that defender. Will try to cross it in and goes off her foot wrong. Wasn't able to slow herself down. 
the cross out in time. Kicked it right to Hesler there. That's honestly been happening a lot in the first half that happened with a lot of the Rollins offensive attacks. A lot of the players trying to cross it in, rush it a little too much. Ooh. Todd went with a pretty big collision Tough with Richardson. She's able to get up. She's got up slowly. Panowski with the kick there. Now Mosley with the ball, trying to beat a defender. Great tackle there. Now Tampa once again. Hostage with the wheels, trying to get past Rollins' defense, but Myers once again able to clear just in time. Ron and, Ron and Myers down there playing great defense. There's a deflection off of Hostage, it looks like. Coach is not in agreement with that, neither is Hostage. So it will be a Rollins throwing deep in their zone. Hostage beating Myers. Cross it into Richardson. Great step on the defense by Todd. Gets, seems to be clipped, and a lot of the Tampa players not very happy with that cause. There's a lot of screaming on the field. <laughs> they do not agree with the ref on that one there. It's a very tough call. It could have gone either way. I think it was a good call, honestly. A little bit of uproar there from the Spartan sidelines after that. Good header there by McNabb, or Acevedo, sorry. Miss header by Hostage and Horhan. Fight back for the ball. Myers accidentally rolls over. Great defense. Still able to recover and a great body there. That had to be the best box out all night there on that play there. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Bringing a little bit of basketball to the pitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, basketball season is coming up soon. A few more days away. It's a great time right now. Middle of the, middle of the soccer season, basketball season is coming back, and October baseball. My Phillies are doing pretty good now. <laughs> Great win this afternoon, eliminating the Braves. Oh, yeah, I almost lost my voice. My voice is strained right now. <laughs> it's all right. I'll pick it up if you go out here. <laughs> Myers is able to clear it away from Richardson. 34 minutes left in the second half. Still pretty early. The Rollins will certainly need to pick it up for the second half. Richardson outside the 18. A lot of room. We'll try to take a rip, and it'll go just wide of the goal. Beasley being able to take the second goal kick of after being back from an injury. It's not too, too windy as it is earlier prior to kickoff, but does that wind have a major effect, you think, this evening in the second half? I don't think it, it affects them too, them too much. Honestly, I know these players, this field is really tough to play on. If anything, this field would have a bigger factor. Mm. Now Richardson once again... Clearing it into the 18. Horhan, good defense by Horhan there. Todd putting pressure, giving to Pianowski. Sophie, Skyla. Sophie Schrader was showing off the footwork in the box. And we go off of Acevedo for a, another Tampa throw in. Rollins able to clear it here. So there's two substitutions for Tampa. Looks like Hannah Kirkpatrick in for Sophie Schrader here. As well, Stephanie De La Forcade, a Forcade is in as well for the Spartans. It's like some of the Rollins, I know if you can hear it on our mics, so some of the Rollins guys are here supporting the girls. 
It's been an alumni game. Lena Beasley able to secure it. Great punt there. Huge over kick there. Over close to where the guys are cheering. It's Todd Dasavito. That kick was so high that I was almost blinded by the lights. Trying to find it, it was up there. Right <laughs> <here. laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now Hostage on the run. Horhand trying to clear just in time before Hostage can get there. Hostage is certainly putting pressure on Horhand and Myers here. She's got a, once again, <laughs> as like every Spartans player here, a lot of speed. Yeah, they are flying down the wings tonight. I'm sure they all have to run about like a 3-4 and a 40-yard dash. They're <laughs> super fast out 3-4 40-yard dash, wow. I don't think even NFL players could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Myers with a good trap and will try to clear it. Hostage still ending it up with ball, but Parks will be able to clear it. Rollins coach a little upset with that play. So it looks like Jesse Wade will be coming back in shortly. And Rollins goal kick will be taking place. And in comes Jesse Wade. Giving Pianowski a little breather here. He's got it with a good trap here. Taking possession of the ball in the midfield. Sloppy pass there. Looks like a little bit of miscommunication on that pass there. Yeah. And it gives, it now gives Tampa the advantage here as they now have the throw in. Once again, take possession of the ball. But they will, it will go out of bounds for a Rollins throw in. Jesse Wade with the big first touch. And Parks able to receive it before Tampa gets it. Gabby to Wade. Wade, another big touch, will get tackled. Play on here as Park will try to send a beautiful ball to Gabby Boyd. No offsides call, will try to cross it in, and it's deflected by DeSaldos. DeSaldos there with a great defensive tackle, or slide, I'm sorry. Let's get that ball out of play. And now a Rollins corner kick. Anna Todd taking the corner kick here. Rollins trying to get something here. We have 28 minutes in the second half. 2-0 Tampa, Todd taking the kick. Free open space here with a beautiful header off the crossbar. Megan Mosley trying to tap it in and will go over the goal. Rollins with the great chance there. Hesler. Alore with the beautiful header. It looked like it was just going to float in behind the keeper when it hits the crossbar. And Megan Mosley had a chance, but with the ball in the air, it was kind of tough to control the ball in time. Took a shot and goes right over the goal. Almost put the Tars on the board there with that one. Well, that didn't go in. It certainly gave the Rollins bench encouragement that something can happen right now. As Parks gets bodied. No call yet. And Todd with the ball. Myers not showing for her. She's frustrated. Beats two defenders to Parks. Great move there. Parks with another great move. So Rollins... Feeling overwhelmed on that one side. Now Tampa sending it back to Hostage who will be caught off sides. Doesn't even make a run for the ball. Yeah, 
you know, as much as this is alumni night here at Rollins, we spoke with the uh, head coach Aaron Sotowski here of the Tampa Spartans. She said that the seniors on our team have really been great leaders this season uh, on the team. Really vocal and pushing their younger younger teammates here to strive for greatness. It is always what you want to see on the field. A lot of players, not just two captains, but a lot of players being able to take control as the ball goes almost over our heads. I almost threw my helmet on there, you know. <laughs> thought I thought it was going to finally be my turn to get hit with the ball. <laughs> Myers with a great throw in. Number 33, Krasowski, will clear it. You know, in the beginning of the match, high intensity, great defense. Then we saw the two goals from Tampa there back to back, but it looks like they've picked them. They've picked it both. Of, both of them have picked it back up here in the second half. Mm -hmm. Still haven't seen a goal scored yet, and just phenomenal defense and pressure on each side. Thunderous kick there. And it almost seemed like the goalkeeper Hessel actually stepped outside the box to punt that ball, which is not allowed. If you know soccer, you know you're not allowed to do that as a keeper. There's a lot of arguing from that Rollins bench. But now Todd with the ball, sending a beautiful through ball to Gabby Boyd. Will it be enough? Gabby Boyd has to trap it. Will secure it just in time. Now has to beat a defender. Crosses it in. It's a big cross. Skyla on the other side. Deflected off of uh, Tampa. Maybe Mosley, now outside the 18, will take a rip and just goes over the crossbar. Megan Mosley looking to add a fourth goal of the season tonight here after that kick. Unfortunately, a little bit far left. And another chance for this Rollins offense. Good look there by Megan Mosley. She had a lot of free space there. She saw something, took it, almost had it. Almost was able to squeeze it in there. But now it's a goal kick. Todd will head it right back into the defense. A little bit more ping pong here. Rollins definitely not scared to shoot the ball with 107 shots on the season. Skyla trying to take a shot from way outside the 18. It looks like it goes off the hand of one of the Rollins defensive players. And the entire bench, including the coaches, erupted. One in that handball. There was a huge uproar from the Rollins side there after that play. Certainly did look like a handball from here. But Parks battling the ball, giving it a beautiful ball to Gabby Boyd. She has to beat this defender who comes in. Ooh, tackled in the box. It was a good tackle. Very cautious, ta a very dangerous tackle, I should say. Yeah. But it was a good clean tackle. She got the ball. She rolled off the play. Todd with the corner kick. Megan Mosley 1v1 here. Back to Todd. Todd will take a rip. Just goes over the crossbar by a few inches. Both teams now here in the second half with four corner kicks apiece. That one there almost resulted in a goal. And Cooper will be coming in for Skyla. As well as 32 Sophie Schrader is coming in for number 15, Brooke Sanderbalt. Park with a great header to Wade. Wade sees Mosley. Mosley trying to fight it off. Back to Park. Goes over her head a little. Bad spin. Now Cooper coming in, trying to win her first battle. Now Tampa, once again, taking possession. Hostage with the ball. The Zottles, Zottles down to, to the fourth cod. And Horhan will clear the ball. Good defense there. Great use of the triangle passing scheme there. Just a little bit too hard on that last kick downfield. Yeah, they're doing incredible right now with those passes. It's giving Rollins... A little bit of struggle on defense yeah. here. They're making them think twice there on defense here. 
But on the plus side, we, we're looking at Rollins' offense with a little spark as there's a, as Park goes down with no foul. As you can hear, there's also traffic fans as well. Again, we did say this is alumni night here at Rollins College. Everybody's excited for this evening's game. A lot of fans in the stadium here. Yeah, it looks like almost a sellout of crowd here in, at the Sandsbur Field. Men's team looks to still be out here celebrating and cheering on the women's team this evening. Great free kick here. Anna Todd with a lot of free space will clear it out. A little bit of a questionable call. I see what she was trying to do, but still didn't work out to what she was trying to do. So Anna Todd will rebound and head the ball to Gabby Boyd. Cooper ending it, ending up with the ball. Jesse Wade fighting off the defender. To Gabby Boyd to Cooper. Cooper with a great move. Acevedo. Gabby Boyd will still be on the run. Hmm. Sottles stopping Sottles her. Stop there. Now Gabby move beat uh, Gabby Boyd beating a defender, beating another defender. Open space will take a rip and will go over the crossbar just by a few inches again. Had everybody on the field here on their feet. That that was a close one right there. And the footwork, amazing. That was a great look by Gabby Boyd. Beat two defenders there. Everyone was getting their hopes up and gave them a little bit of a <laughs> jitter. <laughs> Looks like Yulani McNabb is coming in shortly. She rolls out of bounds for a Tampa throw in. Under 20 minutes to go here in the second half. Still a 2 nothing game Tampa. Sottles with good clear. Hostage and Myers fighting for it. Tampa throw in. Yeah, we'll try to cross it in. It's deflected off of Myers and it will be a corner kick. I just want to say that was amazing coaching there because we can hear it from the side here from Elisa Schiff. She called that long pass on the way so that they can play on that. And that was a great call. Being able to feel that that was coming and see it, that's amazing. Amazing coaching right there. Yeah, she certainly has been doing a great job coaching this team. 11 seasons. She's certainly got a lengthy resume there. Lori with the ball here. Some open space. A lot of big touches. It will get stolen, and now Tampa's on the run here. We'll look the hostage, but no run there as Myers will clear the ball into the stands. The kids are. One of those kids, I'm sure, is really happy. As we said, guys, Elisa, Alicia Ship with her 11th year, 108 wins, 43 losses with this Rollins team. Amazing. Three Sunshine State titles under her as well. Looking to get that fourth this year. Rollins will still have the ball hostage. Getting the ball stolen. Todd with the good trap and clear. Now Jesse Wade has a chance here with the Rollins. Rollins' offense won't get anything yet. Tampa has been doing really well at defense. Tampa with cross will go behind the goal. McNabb is coming in for Megan Mosley. And for Tampa, Madison McElhone is coming in. 
for a hostage. Now with Rollins pulling out their top score, do you have any worries leading to the last 16 minutes of the match? Honestly, there could be a little bit of a worry, but Gabby Boyd is still out there. Jesse Wade has been doing has been doing her bit, and McNabb has been doing her bit when she comes in as well. So honestly, Rollins still has some hope. I mean, we saw a spark from their offense earlier in the second half, and they're, I'm sure, hoping for another spark. It's another free kick go over Park's head. Roll out of bounds. Rollins throwing as well as a sub. Scala will come in for Horahan. Throw in here. Gabby Boyd with the ball in the corner. Beats one beats two defenders, crosses it in. Once again cleared away. Todd to Boyd. Scala. Good move there. Seems like those fresh legs are working there for him. To Parks. Loses the ball, but Todd will be able to recover. Takes a rip. Go over oh. the keeper, and it's a goal. Great goal. Todd outside the 18 with a beautiful strike. Getting the Tars on the board here in the second half. That was impressive from the angle and the, and the distance to make that goal. Crowd erupting here at Sandsburg Field. Rollins bench sided as well. And this could be the spark Rollins needs. There's a substitute by Tampa, 17. Jackie Morris will come in. And this could be the spark Rollins has been looking for all game long. We are 15 minutes left in the second half. And suddenly this stadium has erupted with cheers and chants. The sideline is going crazy right now. A lot of momentum for Rollins here. Yeah, and like we said from the beginning, stick around, folks. This is going to be a great game. We said last year's game went to the wire. This one looks like it's going to go to the wire. Every time these teams play, it is a battle all game. Todd earlier in the season actually had a goal similar to that one. She was outside the 18, took a free kick, beautiful, a beautiful line drive into the upper corner. Me and Nico were able to broadcast that game. It was a beautiful shot, and this shot here reminded me of something like that. Almost barred down. <laughs> I'm glad I got to be here and see that one there because that was a beautiful shot. That was a great Gosh. shot. Way outside the 18, too. You don't see that very often. Tampa with the corner kick here. 33 will take a rip. And Elena Beasley diving will not be able to get it. And Sorowski taking a shot outside the 18. Puts a huge damper on this Rollins team. Seemed like there could have been a foul inside the 18 by one of the Tampa players. But ref said, let it play. Celebration from Rollins not to be outdone there with the goal scored immediately after there by the Spartans here. Silencing that Rollins crowd here. And the Rollins coach is saying what I was thinking. There was a little bit of a shove inside the 18, but the Rollins... But the ref let it play. Park is trying to get through. Will get clipped. Now there's a free kick chance just outside the 18. And just like that, Todd will set up for the free kick. This could be another chance here. Almost from maybe five feet over from where she shot it earlier. Coach Wostowski for the Spartans calling for an extra member to join the wall down there. 
commanding Schrader here just to take her step over on the kick. Scala with the rip will try to go underneath the wall. Doesn't work. She still gets a chance. It was a go. It will go out, and Rollins will play to the backfield to Myers, to Acevedo. Beats a defender. Sorry, McNabb. To Todd, who sends a beautiful ball to Gabby Boyd. Is deflected by the keeper. Well, saved by the keeper, I should say, with 13 minutes left. McNabb going down. Now number 25 with a chance. Alore with the save as Elena Beasley came out to try to save it. A little miscommunication, but Alori saved it just in time. Kicks it out of bounds. That could have been detrimental to the Rollins team here. The last few minutes here, 12 minutes remaining. Another goal. That would have definitely put a damper in their celebrations. Todd with the ball. Will be fouled. Myers taking the free kick in her own backfield. You know, Spartans head coach, Aaron Shostowski said it earlier, you know, continue this momentum winning, we got to score more goals, and that's exactly what Tampa looked to do tonight. Up 3-1 here in the last few minutes of the half. Got to be impressed with what they did. The clock stopped here a little bit. Seemed, the ref seemed to think that the clock had stopped due to Tampa wasting time. Now Tampa still with a chance here as Elena Beasley will scoop it up just in time. Beasley with a great punt there. Roll out of bounds and it'll be a Rollins throw in. Megan Mosley will come back in with 11 minutes to go. We'll take out. We'll take out McNabb, who would come in prior to take out Megan Mosley. So it looks like they end up putting the score back in. Just a quick little rest here. Parks to Skyler, back to Parks. Beautiful. Parks will try to get something going. Tar away. Spartans defense is swallowing up anything that anything that can happen for this Rollins offense. Todd with the throw in to Gabby Boyd. Go right back into Tampa's arms. Todd with the throw in now. Jesse Wade, who's off of her. Can she save it? She will not be able to, and it is a Tampa throw in. Brooks Steinerwalt looks to be heading in here. For Sophie Schrader here. Todd with the throw in here. Actor Jesse Wade will go out of bounds. Sets up another goal kick for Tampa Spartans. Under 10 minutes to go here. Tampa is leading 3 to 1. We saw earlier in the second half a beautiful shot by Todd, but quickly rebounded by Tampa a few minutes later. Sorowski outside the 18 also scored. Jackie Morris with the header there. And the tight defense here. Lore with a great move. A little nutmeg there to Todd. Todd's seeing Gabby Boyd. Doesn't go anywhere though. Great deflection by Park. As it rolls out of bounds for a Tampa throw and as well as a Tampa substitute. Looks like Catherine Hostage is making her way back in the game here in place of Hannah Kirkpatrick. Kirkpatrick. Three, 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 
Schultz with the pass. Caleb Park able to deflect it, and it'll be a Rollins throw in. So we're seeing that defensive pace pick back up here in the last minutes. As well as that attacking coming from the Tars. Todd playing it back to Myers. Myers, it's a beautiful look there. Tampa once again stepping up. Scala trying to get it through. Too much on that pass there. collision here as it will be dressed as a Tampa foul. Todd is still slow to get up. Myers with the free kick. Beautiful free kick there. Chance for May Mosley won't go anywhere. Headers back to back there. Megan Mosley has been struggling tonight as number seven, Eric McCarthy in the backfield has been towering over most of these Rollins players. Myers trying to save it. Won't be able to get there in time. Now it's a Spartans throw in seven minutes ago. Tampa, even though they're up 3-1, still keeping that attack and pressure on the Tars. And Alice Tesser is coming back into the game. A little bit of a collision here. Lore taking her time. She's, she's Wade right through the middle. It's Wade then looks at Megan Mosley, will go nowhere. Scala being able to rebound. Great move there. To a Lore. Clears it beautifully. Keeper will be able to scoop it up just in time. There's six minutes left. It looks like Alice Tesser will be coming in for Anna Todd here with six minutes left in the game. Todd with the ball. Sends a through ball. Won't be caught off sides. Gabby Boyd down the corner. Beats the defender. Tries crossing it in. Ooh. Cooper with the chance. Gets a little shoved there. No call by the ref though. Rollins looking for the call there. Coach upset there. Coach he will finally make a call. Coach Souza there walking down the field almost all the way to the corner there <laughs> in the ref's attention. Really upset with that play there. He's certainly been frustrated with a lot of these calls that he thinks should be awarded to Rollins. Yeah, there's been a few tonight. There has been. It's been a really physical match this evening. One of the missed calls actually led to a Tampa goal, or at least he seemed to think that was a foul. Sitting up here, I saw. Yeah, that's what uh, gave him that third goal there to put him up two here. Without that one, we're still looking at a close game, so that is a crucial known call on that play. Todd with the free kick. We'll try to cross it in the Cooper. Goes right by her to Hessel, the keeper. Now with under five minutes to go, Hessel will take her time inside that 18. Great kick there. It will roll out of bounds by Todd's header. And will be a Tampa throw in. Todd with the interception there off the throw in. Great through ball by for Gabby Boyd. Gabby Boyd being able to defeat one player beats, almost beats another. She loses the ball, will get clipped. Ooh. And Myers and Hostage collide heavily. Myers down there, looks hobbled on the play after. Hoping she's okay. The ref will stop the we'll game. Stop. Myers a bit shaken up here, giving it a little bit of time to shake it off here. Make sure she's all right.
Little bit of confusion here on the start of the kickoff. Starting back up. There's a little bit of confusion as Hostage went down with Myers, collided with her after the play. Certainly was a foul. Ref stopped the play, did not call a foul, so it automatically becomes a drop kick. So that's what the Tampa coach was screaming about. It's their drop kick. They are in respect for Rollins. They're going to clear the ball so that Rollins can get the ball after that. Uh, very good enlightening for people like me or at home that didn't understand with kind of a little bit of confusion there <laughs> right. towards the end. Yeah, so whenever the ref doesn't make a call and it could be a foul either way, he's going to award a drop kick. And whoever's drop kick that, whoever has the drop kick, out of respect, usually in courtesy, you'll see a lot of the teams just clear it to the other team's defensive uh, players or even the keeper so that they can start from the backfield. It's more of a respect thing. Gotcha. Ooh. And Hostage pulls down Todd after the play. Could very well be a card. One not awarded. Even oh, That was a very physical play there. A lot of aggression here. The ref is letting them play, though. Catherine Hostage showing a lot of physicality here towards the end of the minutes here. Not letting up on the Tars at all. Hostage and Myers once again go up for the ball. And another foul on Hostage to Myers. Myers taking the free kick. He's been able to get back up after a lot of collisions. Very impressive from Myers here. She takes another free kick. Scala. Tampa once again earning it back. We'll try to clear it. And it will go out of bounds. And Alice Tesser is coming back into the game for Anna Todd. Spartans head coach warning Catherine to play a little bit calmer here. A little confusion between the substitutions here. Seemed like Jesse Wade thought she was coming off. A lot of anger from this Tampa Bay coaching staff here. <laughs> I don't. Just because they're up doesn't mean they're going to take it easy. That's what right, you think. Yeah. <laughs> and the coach is letting that be known. Park with a good move here down the sideline. Park trying to beat a defender. It will roll out of bounds as she gets bodied off the ball. And a corner kick will be awarded. Alice Tesser sprinting to the corner. Less than 90 seconds here in the second half. Tesser the Park. Park crossing it in. Tampa being able to clear it. We have one minute left in the game here. It is 3-1 Tampa. Rollins is trying to get something going. Myers with the throw in. And it will go right out of bounds for another Rollins throw in. The clock is ticking down here with one minute left. Crossed inside the 18. Megan, Megan Mosley goes goes off her foot wrong. And a roll out of bounds. You can tell she checked the cleat down there a little bit. You can tell it just rolled off a bit wrong on that kick there. Right, yeah. Close one. And it seems like Tampa is going to take the win here. They have 40, sorry, 35 seconds left. Tampa is winning 3-1. to one. Doesn't look too good for Rollins here. Temple will. <laughs> At the rate of this, they will move on here to six and five with one away game finally coming in tonight here, their first one of the season. And Tampa will clear it with 15 seconds left. Tampa's next game will be against Florida Southern, while the Rollins Tars next game will be against Embry Riddle University. You know, Lena Beasley will probably finish out this game with a goal kick as Tampa takes the 3-1 win. We're here at Kale Sandsburg Field. I'm Ian Shire alongside me is Michael Williams. We hope you enjoyed the game despite the Rollins loss, a 3-1 loss to Tampa Spartans who, in their, who are in their conference. Once again, thank you for joining us and thank you for Rollins for letting Full Sail students be able to broadcast game. We'll be Next game we have is, I believe, the women, another women's home game next Saturday. Yeah, I believe that'll be against Embry-Riddle right. on the 19th.
All right. Well, we hope you enjoy your night tonight, and thank you for coming out. You guys enjoy.